there, Haley with Jason Learning, and I'm here with Dr. Nadine Rupert, and she is going to take us on a, a walk here where we're going to find out what are in these mammal traps down this trail. What, what are you expecting to find? Okay, um, so we set up ground and middle level camera, uh, camera traps as well, actually, but Ooh. live traps, so two types. And um, we have 50 traps in here, and we do not expect to have 50 animals, unfortunately. So usually the trapping success is less than 10%. So if we get two to three, it would be quite, I think, a good day for you guys. So we have it uh, set for the fifth day and night. And uh, usually, on average, we have two animals every two times we check a day. Yeah. Awesome. So we'll see what we find. We're here with her team, and with our team, we have Brittany. So let's go see what there is. Let's go. Yes. Okay. So Nadine, I have a quick question. I'm very curious. What exactly are we trapping here today? Okay, um, so as you can see, these are small cage traps. So here we set it up in the forest um, to catch uh, small mammals. Anything that is found here on the ground on a bit lower levels of the canopy. So we have uh, different species of rats, squirrels, tree shrews. We also set up larger traps and um, they could be potentially used by civet cats, uh, slow lorises, or um, even like Porcupines, if they are in Malaysia and in Penang Hill, I don't know, I'm not sure. So yeah, basically we're trying to get small mammals. So because we are doing the morning session, um, now we find there's no animal in the trap. We just leave it open because we come and check again um, around 4 p.m. later. Okay. That one's still open. So we set up few traps higher than ground level because obviously the small mammals also a preliminary found in the canopy. We cannot reach very, very high though. So this is maybe, I don't know, two meters or something. Put them on a stick, set them up on a tree branch. And now what I want to do is just change the bait here because this banana looks a bit mushy. You to take it off, right? Yeah, so you take it off. So far we've looked at 19 traps and there hasn't been anything in the trap. Um, so hopefully we'll see something. And if not, this is really cool anyway to see how the traps are set. traps here. There's a rat. <gasps> There's a rat. We found our first mammal in the trap and um, what, what am I looking at exactly here? A chestnut tree rat. So we just uh, have to measure the body and the tail length to see what species it really is. Can you please hold that? Yes. So I'm transferring it into a cloth bag that likes to go into the bag because it's dark and gives it shelter. See now it's in the bag. And now we find this spot where we can sit down and take the body measurements. Okay, which is 3.8. Now we want to have the snout until the anus. It's 14. Yeah. All right. There you go. So tree shrews are actually not rodents and uh, Although they look like squirrels, they are like a completely standalone order and supposedly the missing link between primates and rodents. They live together, they're like male and female, they stay together for their whole life, then have offspring and they fend their territory, they're pretty territorial. So they show many like exciting behaviors as well. And they're pretty common, this is why this guy earned the scientific name common tree shrew but there's uh, several other species of tree shrews also around here well I, I don't know I mean I'm trying to be very quiet here but all of this that you do all the time this is extremely exciting for all of us to see <laughs> it's amazing I like to it's, share you know it's a common oh, tree oh, oh, shrew oh. Oh, now it's running away oh. Get back. Oh. Oh. Don't, don't put that don't hold him no um, hold it yeah hold him I got him I got him I got him. Put it in the bag. Okay. Okay. Got it. Sorry. Release. 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 Tree shoe rescue. <laughs> oh. Sorry. That was great. Thanks, Ailey. Sorry. It was a really, really good catch. <laughs> okay. Measure. What a long tail. And tail length. It's okay. under the tip here, so not the fur, but really the tip of the the, tip, tip. the bone. It's like 3.6. Let's see. 18.5. Okay, good. 18.5 head body, and I'll just release it. Mm. 
Ready, Liv? Wow. Ready or not? Woo! All right, so we just got finished with checking all the traps and there were actually two animals in the traps. I can't believe it. Yeah, and one ran away, so I'm sorry. <laughs> so there could have been there could have been three, but we saw a tree shrew and a tree rat and took their measurements. And uh, now we have a, a little bit more of the biodiversity here. And Nadine, I just wanted to say thank you so yeah, much welcome. for taking us. No, the, it was this great. is quite an adventure. You're the best tree shrew catcher I ever had on camera. I not even on camera. Like, <laughs> and with me in the forest. <laughs> and we're going to check the camera traps, so there will be more hopefully. Yes. We'll get to see what's on the camera traps too.